The other moment that I was very taken by, I mean, I loved the whole film, but you know, there were moments where I, that were so thought provoking for me. And one was when you were with your physical therapist. You said something along the lines, Michael, of, you know, people are looking to me. They're looking to me fighting this disease. And I, I, I can't let them down. I'm paraphrasing here. Your physical therapist said, you know, you don't always have to be Michael J. Fox. And it made me think what a huge responsibility and how unfair in many ways that was to you. And I wonder, gosh, does Mike ever think, I don't want to be the goddamn poster child for Parkinson's disease. I don't want to have to be an example of how you know, you deal when, when bad things happen or how to do hard things. And I'm curious because that wasn't really explored that much. And, and do you ever just get really pissed off and really angry? And I know you're pointing at Davis right now. No, you not going to lose it because you suggested he missed something. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is what it was like the whole time. He really isn't a very kind human yeah, he, he just he, he, any chance he, he gets to just knock me down, he just does it. He and puts he on like, that he's really a nice guy. He's he's actually the sweetest guy, the most wonderful guy I've ever worked with. And he yeah, he begins. <laughs> <laughs> but I wondered about that. I wondered about that yeah. because I was like, you know, God, this that's so much on your shoulders. You've got so much you're dealing with already, as you said, simultaneously navigating what's happening in your brain every moment while trying to carry on a conversation, while trying to walk down the street in New York City and trying not to fall. And then I'm like, this guy feels like he can't let people down. And, and you know, you're dealing with so much. And then you're dealing with having to keep this a secret. Of course, this came out when you announced it, but that for how many years you were diagnosed Seven. in... 10 years? Seven, seven, seven years. Seven, yeah. So you were diagnosed at 29 in 1991, is that right? Yeah. And then you told the, the world you in had it. 98. 98. It's like, it's like a schnauzer on your pant leg. It's a, I'm just pulling all the time. But no, the thing about that is that, again, that seven years was, was a great thing for me because, because I, got, I, I got to back into it. I didn't take it full on. I didn't take it on the heels of a diagnosis. And to go in front of a, a curious public and say, I just found out. It was like, like, like this, is, this is not good. And I had all this other shit I got to figure out. Um, like I'm, 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 I'm alienating my wife. I'm drinking too much. And, I'm, and, and I had other problems. Um, so I had to figure all that out. And then I had children. I had more children. I had uh, twins. And, and that kind of got, that was a beautiful thing. And that was such a nice, I, I'm, I'm not a, a big uh, spiritual side, but but I don't tend to go. This is the hand of God or crazy stuff. But 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 I did feel like like we were given twins, and and it was just like like here's one for all the years you wasted. Here's one for now, and and, and so all these beautiful things happen, and and then I started to spin city, and and that became a thing. And so all this stuff built me to a place where. Where I could look online and see someone say, I'm glad you got Parkinson's, I'm glad he got Parkinson's, and get it. And like, look at it, I go, I get that. I understand that. And, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm full enough and ready enough to take that and, and, to, and to move forward with it. And if there's something, if there's a role for me to play, I'll play it because, God damn it, all, all that's been said and done, I'm really lucky. I'm, I'm like, this kid from Canada, I'm a, I have this beautiful wife, these great kids, I'm a multi millionaire, I've got it, I've got it. I got, I got like this life I've lived that shit, yeah, it's for me to step up and do something. And and, and so I saw it as a great privilege and a great opportunity. And and, and I just ran, managed to run through great people along the way and, and to lay it out and to, to get these kind of goals and say, um, I came with all these, these expressions like purity of motive and, 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 um, and the sense of the head of the money and, and just, just focus on what we needed to do. And, and I guess the answer to all your questions is it's not personal. It's not personal. I, it, it just is what it is. It's circumstance. It's a circus of circumstance. 
and I just walk in the line. Why did people say I'm glad? I'm glad you got Parkinson's. Were those other Parkinson's? Yeah, patients they, they, who... they, they'd been ignored. They, they, that was the other thing I was going to say. They, they, they'd been ignored for years it, because they were, because they're an elderly uh, populace for the most part. The secret was they weren't. The people that were not elderly were not telling anybody, and were and were keeping their their financial resources and their and their energy, and their their their, their aspirations and their hopes and fears to themselves. For the exact same reason I did. They, they weren't happy that you had an affliction. <laughs> they were happy that, that they had you brought an advocate. Some, yeah, they brought yeah. some attention to something that had been been in the shadows. So yeah. I got it. I got it. And I, and I said, maybe I'm that guy. Maybe I'm not that guy. Let's let's explore that. And so I did. And 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 um, and I, I thought, yeah, no, there's something I can do here. And 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 what what I could do was I I could rally people, and and get uh, a lot of friends, mutual friends of ours. They're just really dynamic people. And, and I guess when, when people say, um, are you proud of what you can you get long last people say to me, can you long last take credit for what you've done? And I say, no, no. I, I don't take credit for what I've done. I, I, I'm glad that I'm part of a group of people that got this done. What I will take credit for, or I'm proud of just at least, is, is that there's a woman that's going to the grocery store right now. 20 years ago, wouldn't have gone to the grocery store. Wouldn't have fumbled with a change purse. Wouldn't have risked the, the guy in the parking lot thinks she was drunk, but she got into a car. Um, it, it, it was a horrible life. And now, um, perhaps because of me to a certain extent, she can say, yeah, I have Parkinson's. Like, like Michael Fox. And that's, 